Hi, it's Chef Mark. Another episode of Cruising in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make banana walnut muffins. Uh, something unique I think about this recipe is that I'm only going to make six muffins. So if you only have a, you know, if you don't have a full family or you only want to make a small amount, I think it's a great idea. You can double this recipe and you'll make a whole uh, 12 muffins. But I wanted to show you that you can do this with as little ingredients almost as possible and make just <clears throat> six at a time. And I think that will come in handy for people because you can cook six at a time a couple times a week as opposed to cooking 12 and letting them just sit around. They don't really freeze this well. You want to eat them when you more or less cook them within a few days. So that's what we got. And with banana bread, you never want to start with a ripe banana. You always want to start with speckled banana. You can get even more speckled than that. But basically something that you've mashed up and you've got three quarters of a cup. For this particular recipe. Like I said, we're only making six muffins, so it's not so much um, three quarters of a cup, so it could be one big banana, could be two small bananas. It's more important that it's roughly three quarters of a cup. So basically, banana bread is wet and dry ingredients. So for instance, uh, we have the dry ingredients here, a cup of flour, a third of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And here we have some walnuts, half a cup. And uh, like I always say, toast them. 375 oven for eight, eight minutes and then chop them up. Well worth the toasting, I will say that again. So over here, like I said, three quarters of a cup of banana. So it could be just one giant banana that you have sitting on your shelf or a couple of small bananas. And you have uh, four tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla, this is two tablespoons of milk, and this can be sour cream or plain yogurt. Uh, a lot of people like the tang of the yogurt in the sour cream. Whatever you have on hand, if you don't have plain yogurt and you don't have sour cream, you can use milk. This is two tablespoons, you could use heavy cream. One egg. So there's flexibility here, and if you wanted to flavor your flour, maybe with some cinnamon, if you like that with your banana bread. If you, if you have nut allergies, you can replace the nuts with chips uh, of any kind, chocolate, white chocolate, semi-sweet, milk chocolate, or nothing, and just leave the nuts and chips out. You put in even like the dried fruit that they have, uh, cranberries, things like that, just about anything you want. So there's a lot of, this is just a base recipe, and you can put your creativeness on this. Uh, just many places. A little flavoring to the flour, something different here, something different here. The basic ingredients is the butter, the vanilla, the egg, and a little bit of baking soda, and this, about this much banana. So let's get going. We'll combine the dry ingredients, simply, especially when they have them all measured up. Just give that a toss, make it nice and even. There's not much to it. The mise en place, getting your ingredients together is extremely important. It's all right in front of you. You're not running around the kitchen looking for anything. So there's your dry ingredients. Simple. Get your banana in here. I mashed it with this masher. You can use a big fat spatula. You can use just about anything to mash a banana. And everything else goes in here. Stuff. You're going to have chunks of banana in this mixture, and that's okay. Pick up the egg, make it easy to mix. Just going to homogenize it a little bit. The butter was melted but cool, it wasn't very hot. And that's it. There's your mixture. And make sure the egg is good and distributed. You could even beat that ahead of time if you wanted to, but no worries either way. So, combine your wet with your dry. Just like you're making anything else, you don't want to really mix this vigorously. You don't want to do anything crazy. You just want to fold it. 
and get it nice, gently put together. And I think it's a great idea when you have a banana or two left over instead of just throwing it away. Especially with this recipe because you don't need the full double amount of everything. This is just, there you go. See the streaks are gone. It's enough. I don't want to overwork it. And in, in my case, I'm using, you can spray these or you can use a, a paper cups. And you want the same amount in every one, so I use a scoop. You want them pretty full. I think I'll get six easy here. They go into a 350 oven. I mean, this is basic banana bread recipe. You can make a loaf out of it if you double the recipe. Muffin. These will only, you know, they won't cook as long as a muffin as it would as a loaf, obviously. So I would check these in a 350 oven after about 15 minutes or so. Might need 17, they might need 20 minutes, between 15 and 20 minutes. And check it out. Okay. So that one's kind of, it looks like we're going to be able to get six exactly and just kind of help each other out and use up all the batter. so it's not going to go in crazy. See? Perfect amount for six. Never waste a banana. You have an egg, a couple tablespoons of sour cream or yogurt, a little bit of sugar. There you go. So I'll throw this in the oven, 350, and we'll come back and I'll let you know how long it took. I'm going to guess 15, 17 minutes and we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're back. I looked at them about 17 minutes and they weren't done. So I put them in again and they're done at the moment. It's been about 22 minutes or so. I think everybody's oven is obviously very different. So don't worry about how long they take. Just make sure they're done correctly. In other words, when you touch them, it's not mushy. It holds its shape. Can't put your finger in it. Yet, obviously it's not overdone, it's not hard or anything. So this is what you're looking for. Uh, I would leave it in the muffin tin for at least 5-10 uh, minutes before you try to loosen them up and um, get them out to cool. But basically 5-10 minutes, I'll let them cool, I'll poke them out, let them cool, and 30 minutes or so later, you know, you could probably eat it. The one advantage of making a muffin also, that's different than banana bread, is Banana bread takes a long time to cool, so when you take a banana bread loaf out, it usually cooks for a full hour, 45 minutes, and it will take two and a half hours or so, two hours to cool before you really want to cut into it. So you're waiting, whereas a muffin, this will be ready in you know, 20, 30 minutes, you can eat a warm muffin. That's another advantage, I think, of taking a banana bread recipe and making it into muffins, but either way, it, you know, it depends. So this is how the muffins go and they'll be really good and just remember that you have a lot of um, choices on the flavorings if you don't want walnuts you can put chocolate chips or both or whatever sour cream yogurt milk i think you'll like the tang of the sour cream and the yogurt give that a try sometime it's really whatever you have in the fridge i didn't have that so we chose the, the two tablespoons of milk today this will be very good and um, we'll post some pictures of them when we cool and can show them what they look like outside of the pan. So, as usual, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for your next episode of Cruising in the Kitchen.